AFGRI is an agricultural services and foods group offering services to farmers as well as selling its own agricultural products. It recently sold its loan book to the Land Bank. AFGRI has a market cap of 2 billion rand, a price to earnings ratio of 9.4 and a dividend yield of 5.3%. Nice dividend yield at 5.3%. But the graph does not mirror what we've seen yeah. on AVI and Tiger Brands. This is the old OTK business, which used to stand for Oost Transvalse Corporatie. And then it renamed itself in 2003 AFGRI. Thank it, heavens it's renamed uh, itself to, <laughs> to AFGRI. Well, they also then bought the, the, the Free State Co-op. So, you know, the maize storage in the silos that you see dotted around in the Mpumalanga region. And then also the stores, you know, where they sell pliers and wire to the farmers and so on. But they went on an aggressive expansion campaign. They were big into the poultry business. They've done this deal recently with the land bank, but it has been a choppy run for them over the last couple of years. And again, as we can see that being mirrored in, in the share price. Rob Afgri in the whole story with agriculture coming to the fore. Surely this could give you a real kicker. Over and above the AVIs and the Tiger Brands, this one may be offering value. Value managers must be looking at Afgri. Um, it could. The problem is it's always uh, under-delivered. So the dividend yield is there. Uh, the pricing looks correct. But they always seem to under-deliver on, on their promises. They've also had really good relationships with all the farmers. And there's always potential that you know, the silos will be 100% full. Um, but they just don't seem to get it right all the time. So it's a story of, you know, there's a lot that they promise and nothing really comes through it. So it's something that you know, we haven't really been in. People are starting to come get the dividend um, in the last year or two. Uh, we also have to be able to produce enough maize to fill those silos. And, you know, um, that's a question. Of, are we producing enough maize? Uh, if the silos sit empty, you know, no revenue. What would make you buy the stock? Well, it's a bit of a mixed picture because the U.S. crop failure earlier this year meant maize prices have gone very firm, but at the same time, uh, so that's led to a lot of planting and a lot of excitement in the local industry. But at the same time, uh, Afriki has a feeds business, which has actually got to buy the stuff and sell it to others. Plus, it's got a poultry business, and we know the poultry business is in big trouble at the moment because of the imports from Brazil and the rising maize prices and so on and so forth. So you've got some of the business units which are doing well because the farmers are investing and the tractor agencies and all that are doing well. Other parts of the business not doing so well. So I don't know. I mean, unfortunately, like we said earlier, farming is a tough business. And, you know, the going is good. It's feast and famine. You know, sometimes they're going to do well. Sometimes when you've diversified, that looks like you've got the means to kind of always be doing OK. But unfortunately, it can also be the reverse. In other words, there's always some division of the business which is stinking up the joint again. And then the results are not so good. Afgri hot or not, Rob? I don't think I'm going to go on about the woes associated with farming, given my history in <laughs> that territory. We will move on swiftly. Yeah. I like the dividend yield, but at the moment, uh, still not hot. Paul, Afgri hot or not? New CEO, um, Yuan Gil, so maybe he can do something. But for the moment, I'm going to go also with not hot.